Hello and welcome to the Six Acre Farmstead. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to remove the foam from your recently extracted honey. Uh, yesterday I had uh, six honey supers and I uh, broke out the extractor and the uncapping tank and tub and um, went ahead and extracted and spun out my honey. Uh, usually when I, when I do so, I run it through my nine frame extractor. Uh, I take these food grade buckets. I've got a, a two-stage stainless steel screening that sits on top of the buckets and basically I just let it gravity feed through the screens into the bucket. Usually during when, when this happens, and that's, uh, that's how it works for me, is you get these little air bubbles in this, uh, that forms in the honey from, I guess, gravity falling through the screen, um, maybe with the, 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 I guess the higher micron filter. Um, and so basically you get this foam that sits on top of your honey. If, if you've been a beekeeper and you've been doing it for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But basically there's nothing wrong with the foam, it's just a byproduct, just air trapped in, in the honey bubbles there. And you know, it's a little unsightly, you know, a lot of beekeepers want to remove it, and that's what I want to try to do also, especially before bottling. So, uh, like I said, in years past, uh, I used to have the foam, I used to take a, uh, a cup and a spoon and then try to scrape off the, the foam. Uh, I found this idea a couple years ago. Um, and that's actually been working for me, and it's a really simple idea. All it involves is a piece of, of saran wrap. Take a piece of saran wrap and uh, press it on top of the foam and pull it out. Um, I'm going to readjust the camera uh, and explain to you how the process works. It's really simple, really quick. Um, and if there's any other uh, ideas that you may have, uh, please put them in the comments below. And uh, maybe I'll learn something from there, or others will learn from them too. But this is what works for me currently, and I want to show you how to, I do it. Okay, this bucket here, there's about, about three to three and a half gallons of honey in this bucket here, to spring honey. So what I want to do is take some saran wrap, pull the piece off. What you're going to do is just try to get this as flat as possible. And you're going to carefully press this onto the top of your honey in the bucket. And then basically I just try to press it down some here. I got some here. I'm probably going to use another piece real quick and set it in here. Make sure you go all around the edge. Basically you want to make sure you press the certain wrap into the, into the top layer of foam in the honey. Even when scooping this out with a spoon, uh, try to remove the, the foam, you're always going to get that the bit of honey at the at the top. It's just a time saving here. So for here. Okay. Press down all around the edge. So now you got this layer of saran wrap all around here. So I got a trash can right here in front of the uh, garbage. In the bucket here. What you're gonna do is take two fingers. I'm gonna try to get both pieces of saran wrap at the same time. I have right here and hopefully get this three two one that's it majority here you can take a uh, plastic spoon or whatever and you probably get the the last remnant of the little bit of foam here on the outside there just it's just tough clean it up there you're not going to get all of it but it's going to help remove a lot of the uh, the air bubbles that's in honey you can see how simple it was just take a piece of saran wrap set on the so there press it down grab the center pull straight up and put in garbage yes you're gonna lose some honey in doing this but even when trying to scrape it out and do the foam you're gonna do the same thing this is a lot faster process and it's worked out for me um, but I want to show it to you guys and hopefully it'll work out for you so that's it from the six acre farmstead thanks for subscribing thanks for watching until the next video bye bye